I have been a caregiver to my husband for over five years. I learned to separate the illness from the person. You have to accept the reality that this is a long haul responsibility that you are taking on. Once you accept that, you will set realistic expectations of the treatment and recovery process. If you want to build an inclusive society, it has to start from your home. My boys are part of that camp. I basically bring them to the doctor to explain my husband's condition to them in layman terms. You have to provide the leadership to be able to show them that it is okay to bring my husband out on social function, even my corporate events. Because I have to tell my kid that they must be able to share that with their close friends. It is not about a skeleton in the closet. When you have that strength, you tend to be more positive. The society and community inclusion, especially by raising and educating the general public of this illness is very important. So I also feel that the knowledge and understanding will empower caregivers to come forward to seek early treatment for their loved ones. In Singapore, the study shows that one out of ten through their lifetime will experience mental illness. The long-term housing, care, and body, I consider is important. But it has to have decent facility, not somewhere cooked up in four walls. That's not very healthy to me. If you want to have a voice that's going to make a difference, to give hope to your loved one, stand up and be an advocate. Come forward and let your voice be heard so that as a powerful community, we can make a difference for your loved ones.